Okay, so what we're going to do here is match our solar panels and our array to our charge controller. Okay, so what I got is a spreadsheet here that I put together and I got several areas. So the first, this first column is the information about our particular solar panel that we've picked out. Okay, then you skip over this one to go down to the controller data and this is the information about your controller, charge controller. And over here we're going to have the design check. Okay, so let's start with the controller data. So I'm going with the Magnum Energy PT100. Um, this is, here's some information on that. If you want to pause. Okay, here's the spec sheet. So it takes a maximum voltage of 200 volts plus the battery voltage or 240, whichever is lower. So in my case, it's going to be 240 volts is the highest voltage I can put into it. Its operating voltage is 190 volts. I can put out 100 amps to charge the batteries and it can accept up to 6,600 watts from the solar panels from the array. So it's a pretty good sized charge controller and it's matched to fit all the rest of my stuff. So anyway, take this information and you go back here and we plug all this into this column. There's the 6600 watts, the 240 max operating voltage, the 100 amps current. Okay, so that's that. And we're going to go look at the solar panel that I picked. For my system is the Solar World 345 watt solar panel sun module. And this is on the Alti store. Uh, these are the specs for this panel. We got the peak power 345 watts, uh, peak power voltage 38, peak current 9.1 amps, open circuit voltage 47.8, and short circuit voltage uh, 9.75. So we take this information, come back over here and plug it in for this panel. So there you see everything's plugged in. Uh, these temperature coefficients, we need to look those up. So let's go back to our panel. We didn't see that in this box, so we got to look around a little bit. Sometimes they keep more information under their document section. So here's another document. And yeah, so here they are. Okay, so the your temperature coefficient for the open circuit voltage is negative. They're always negative. 0.304 percent, okay, percent, and then the other one's 0.43. So let's go back over here. The open circuit temp coefficient, and here we're not expressing it as percent, we're just plugging it in as a number, so it's negative 0.00304, and there's the other one. So we've got our temperature coefficients in here. So it doesn't, you don't have to have this panel. You can plug in whatever panel you're using, plug in your data, whatever control if you're using the uh, uh, well, I forget what it's called. <laughs> any any charge controller. Okay, plug it in here, the information, and then what we're going to play with now is the what is the panel going to look like in terms of how many panels in series and how many in parallel. Okay, so this is where we can plug in some numbers and play around here, and the system will calculate up the rest. So. Let's start with two panels in series, just one string. Okay, and then we can go up here and say, well, then we'd have 690 watts, and we'd have 106 volts for the open circuit coldest temperature, which is well under the 240. So here's your cushion, you got 133 to spare. 11 amps out of 100, you got 88 amps to spare. So we're nowhere near. So let's come up here and punch in you know, what if you had four in series and three strings of four, so 12 panels. This is what I'm actually doing. 4140 watts, 212, and we're getting closer to the 240. We got a little bit to spare. Uh, battery charging amp, 71.8. Now this is the at the coldest temp, um, I think. And then here we go with the max current. 71 to 100, we got 28 to spare. So this is fine. And I think 
I have enough room to go up even. Well, if I try to go to five, that's not going to work because the more you put in series, the higher the voltage goes. See, now we exceeded it here, right? So we drop that back down to four. Now, the more we more strings in parallel we put, the higher our current's going to go. So we're getting 96 out of 100. We only got four to spare. Now, you could probably do that, and you're probably never actually going to see 96. But that should be the worst case scenario. I don't know if I want to push it quite that much. So I'm just going to stay down here at three. All right, so in series increases the voltage. In parallel, the number of your strings increases the current. All right, so with that, the other thing you would need to plug in here, which I didn't show, is that uh, I had to put in my actual temperatures for this area, the high temperatures and the lows. And it's the lows that really matter. And some other conversion type stuff in here. But So I got the spreadsheet. Um, so I make no guarantees on this. If you wanted a copy of it, you can email me or something. And uh, use it at your own risk. But just a little tool to um, help you design your system. All right, thanks for watching.